Hi, my name is Cindy Rang. I'm Brandon Motzkus, and we are opening Mom's suitcase. <laughs> your Valentine's Day was fantastic yeah. and you uh, ate your fill of chocolate and dinner out. Yes. Dinner out. And uh, so today is the day that um, uh, we did a lot of shopping. We missed you and the kids so much <laughs> that uh, everyone, and even dad was into it. It's like, Aww. what do you think Van will like this? And so, um, and all of the girls, uh, when, as we were shopping, uh, we We're thought helping. of you. Yeah, so also all of my souvenirs are in here too. So <laughs> as you look at them, I hope you pick the right one. Oh, okay. So we'll see what happens. But um, yeah, but we did yeah. a lot of shopping and it's fun to be able to see, you know, the local crafts and the local things that they make. And so it'll be fun for you guys to see. She says hello. Hey. hey. <laughs> she knows when we're Say talking to nobody. The camera. <laughs> <laughs> we're talking to nobody. Yeah. We're talking to nobody. And so, um, so anyway, we got all um, just a lot of fun things just to kind of um, share with you um, some of the stuff that they do there in um, Indonesia, Malaysia, Yay. Thailand, and Singapore were the country. And, yeah, did I get them all right? Were the countries yeah. that we visited. So one thing, the first thing, <laughs> I'm gonna have to go to hide you. She really want this. found something. <laughs> Here, let's find something for her really fast. This, I think, was on the top. Ooh. Wait, not that. Ooh. I know there was one on the top that was from um, Ka uh, Catherine Reinhardt, our friend. Um, ooh. Uh, this is actually for Harper. She saw this and thought that Harper would like that. So this was just a fun. Ooh. Ooh. <gasps> Look how cool that is! Oh my gosh, it is just hand stitched. It's a little all hand stitched. It's a little elephant. There was a lot keychain. of that kind of stuff ooh. that. Um, ooh, little keychain, or she can clip it to her purse. Let's clip it to her purse. Yes, yeah, she carries a purse today. Want to go show? Want to go show Harper? Go, go show, show it to Harper. Harper. Yep. Yeah. Go show. Harper. Say bye. <laughs> bye. Go show Harper. Go show Harper. Or go show Tracy. Okay. okay. She's off. She's She'll on a mission. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so the timer. <laughs> <laughs> I know. That's right. Um, anyway, um, lots and lots of fun things. So, oh, uh oh. So one thing is that um, Chinese New Year um, is um, February tenth through oh. February fourteenth. Okay. So we barely missed it, and everybody it. kept saying, "Thank God you're making it out of town before it happens," because everything shuts down. They oh, are I'm sure. into it, into it, into it. That's cool. I am the Year of the Dragon. In fact, this is my 60th year, so it, this year is the wood dragon again. And mm. so we've talked about that before, but that's that whole thing that every 60 years it repeats because they have 12 animals and five elements. <laughs> and so as you go through, <laughs> as you go through, it takes 60 years before you come back around. So um, your 60th year when you um, experience the same year as your birth is supposed to be your rebirth and an opportunity to you know, make some Change changes. Change things up a little bit. All right. Yeah. You know, right some wrongs, I guess. You know, I don't know. But anyway, so uh, they're totally into it. Dragons That's everywhere, cool. everywhere, everywhere. And there were three of us wood dragons that are turning 60 on the trip. Me, Amy Vedreen, and Jen. And if I wasn't supposed to tell anybody how old you are, I apologize. But anyway, <laughs> that's what's happening. I was bad. So um, anyway, so, it was cool. all so us dragons are like freaking out because there's lots of opportunities and fun dragons everywhere. And even um, Starbucks. <gasps> oh, that's a gift card? Yeah. Oh! Yeah. Isn't that great? That is fantastic. I know, so I took so many pictures of dragons and dragons were like everywhere. So super fun. So I just can't save that. So kind of fun. So let's see. Um, and then this, let's start on this side. Ho, ho. You just sit down back. <laughs> Play with the dog. Play with the dog. The dog is pouting because the kids got some yeah, new play, 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 stuffed play. animals for Lizzie. Found one, and she thought it was for her. She was so happy too. Excited about her little pink robot. So um, whenever we do the trips um, with um, RGE Travels, they always do a new bag mm -hmm. for us, and um, we have a black one, a blue one, a red one, and no, this time it was one. a white one. So this is your bag. Oh, awesome! Yeah, I'll put with my other collection. Yes. I know. And let's see, these are going to be in no particular order because um, okay. I didn't, I put them in the suitcase the way they would fit. 
So um, let's see, when we were in Lombok, and Lombok is one of the islands in Indonesia, and Indonesia has, I think it is either 1,100 or 1,400 islands. Ooh, a lot. Uh, it's, and that's what Indonesia means, is um, an island, a thousand islands, okay. is what it, um, I think Indo must be island, and Nisia must be it's a thousand, okay. but anyway. That's what it means, and so we went to three different islands in Indonesia, and one was um, Lombok, and Lombok is where song cat and eye cat comes from. So this is, uh, Dad picked the shirt out himself, wow. and wore it twice. Did he? Did he did, and he looked really good in it, and it's possible that it's dirty, but I don't think so, but... Ooh, that's nice. I know, and so this is eye cat. So we've talked about it before that I see fabrics sometimes that have an iCat design. And I have to say that I'm not necessarily a huge fan of the iCat um, texture because it looks a little fuzzy. Fuzzy. Dis it's distressed. Yeah. But I like this. I, I like this. And this is woven. If you are to it's look at this. It's really thin. I mean, is, not in a bad way, just airy and comfortable thin for hot weather for yeah, sure. Yeah, it's woven. It's cotton. And at this fact, uh, I, I, I don't know that factory is the right word for it. School that we went to. Maybe I can. Uh oh. Ooh. She's on the camera. <laughs> Does it? Okay. Godzilla. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I like this though. I, I like, love it. What a great summer coat. Uh, yeah, shirt. Shirt. Even. It's, and it really is nice. And I do, it's funny that um, real eye cat, and they pronounced it e cat. E -cat. They didn't you, say oh, right. You said that. Um, yes, uh, it really is nice. And so we went to this um, school. I think I said factory before, but it was a school. And I have a picture of the woman. She is 94 years old. Wow. She still does it. And she is the. Um, teacher of all of the different um, textures because there's two textures. One is called eye cat, which is just a very simple weaving, and then that's just kind of how they learn. And then uh -huh. the other one is called song cat, which is somewhere in here, which you'll see in a minute. But we could put in maybe I did a little video because the women are sitting out front and it's just these great big looms and they sit and they weave and they wive and they yeah. were so friendly to say, well, would you like to try it? And I, of course, said no. I, I don't mess that up. <laughs> but um, Kelly did it. Oh, uh, cool. Val did it. Uh, quite, and in fact, uh, Janet Clark, our friend from Hawaii, she took like a class and oh, actually, cool. you know, worked on it a little bit longer. And um, I'm not sure if she ended up making something, but she actually took. Um, a whole class, but anyway, so it's wow. really cool. So this is I. So they make a whole like chunk of fabric, and then they, they create do. their pattern. Just yes, how they you make. Assume. So we the the we the looms are all out front. They have a ton of them, lots of women, and in fact, they cannot marry until they know how to do it. Oh. Um, it is you must know how to weave. You must have made a piece. Um, the gal that was giving us the little tour, um, she was Muslim, and um, uh, the very. This was one of the places that was eighty percent Muslim, mm -hmm. and um, um, lovely uh, had went somewhere else to university, spoke perfect English, which was really really nice, and she said, "Yeah, you um, you have to learn how to do this. It is um, absolutely imperative, and it is their wow. heritage part of what they do, and so they make um, they make." Uh, uh, they make pieces where it's their traditional garb, and so oh, okay. they layer it. And what happens is we'll put even some, I have some more pictures of, they would dress us in it, and one is like an underskirt, and then there's an overskirt, and then there's kind of this shawl type thing, and a belt. So there were many pieces, and you matched. Sure. Sure. Um, husband and wife dressed exactly oh, the same, that's and cool. then the colors, and then there were also specific patterns that went for sultans and royalty and um, uh, different people, and different patterns that were specific for weddings, different huh. patterns that were specific for, oh, you're having a baby, and so you put this out, and so they all kind of that's meant something, really cool. but th it's really, really cool, and it was, but we went into this, um, the, the, the market that had all of the stuff and you could buy um, pieces of fabric that were different things. I mean, they didn't necessarily make, they don't do quilts. Right. It's not a thing there because sure. they, it's hot. 
and it is mm -hmm. a constant 90 degrees. Um, so that's not what they did with it. It was all clothing, but we found some pieces that we thought were perfect little table runners and different things. But um, but what they did with it is they um, they dressed with it, and so depending. And I on can the size see the pieces, lightness of this, and it's not like a really really tight weave. To no, super breathable. Even it feels layered. almost linen-y. It does feel like linen. That you think? Mm -hmm. Yeah, and that's what Dad thought too. He thought it was super comfortable. Super he breathable. really liked it, and yeah, but um, really like a cool shirt. Yeah, and I think <clears> he <throat> has another one in here too. I feel like I can't remember for sure, but so um, and then they did take some of the fabric and sewed it into some things. So this, let's take the plastic off so that everybody can see. It's a bag. Right? Oh, sorry, Lizzie. Oh, look at that. It wasn't even lined. Yeah. The zipper. That's perfect. Oh, and look it at has that. The Lombok. Lombok. Mm -hmm. Yeah, isn't that pretty? So, um, that is one of these is fantastic. for me and one is for you. Can I you tell? It. This one's for me. <laughs> <laughs> the right color. <laughs> But it has room for baby snacks and a water, yeah, right? <laughs> a book. And again, it's that same almost yeah, linen -y, linen y kind of, yeah, all yeah. hand woven. And then they um, sew them into some wow. things. And then, and then what's kind of fun too is that sometimes you see souvenirs and you know, you wonder kind of where they're made. These absolutely, we watched them make them and they um, are there at the village. So then, I that's this awesome. Little, isn't that pretty? There's more of it in here that, um, and this is considered their. E -cat. That is their e cat. Yes, somewhere. I'm to see the I other I feel one. like we're going to unearth it, um, not in the right order. That's so okay. Stick with us, okay. and you'll see song cat in a moment. So let's see. That's okay. This is. Oh, okay. So I'm going to back up a little bit. When we were in Kuala Lumpur, which is actually Malaysia, we went to um, a uh, batik heritage place that was really really cool and so they had it was huge it was a big um i think they even called it um heritage and museum so they had kind of like um history of of batiks and their way of doing it everybody did batik a little bit differently everybody had their own kind of styles and these guys were the ones that really did the and i think we can insert a um a couple of pictures and maybe a video again, but they were all artists that had their own, um, I'm going to draw this butterfly with my wax, I'm gonna hand paint um, my watercolor painting and then mm -hmm. I might, oh, but it was all like Very hand artisan. painted. It wasn't dyes, it was painting. And that wow. was where, when Janet and I think Cheryl Coltsworthy talked about doing their batik class. Oh, and so, if you guys saw that last day that they did the whole little mm -hmm. fruit tasting or whatever, I had put in a picture of, of that. the butterfly. Yeah, that was yeah. cool. Yeah, so that was kind of what they did there. And it was really fun because then we did some shopping and we found some pieces there. And this, so, and I know it's gross, you know, to talk about money and well, how much I paid for it or whatever, but I found this dress that I thought was so pretty um, that I found for you there. And I just have to say that in American dollars, this was $21, which was, is like amazing because it's, look how pretty it is. Look at that. And look how airy that is. I know. Does oh, I look like you? I love like it. it. Yes. I think it really looks like you, but it was really, I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. In in um, Malaysia money or whatever, it was two hundred dollars. Two hundred. But the that's not oh, what that's the price was. So pretty. But yeah, isn't that pretty? I love. I that. I think it's really pretty. And with all of your um, stretchy pants that your kids bought you, you could even. I, <laughs> good. I know, but right. <laughs> yeah, so it's a all, shape. It's almost the shape that I wore to Jared and Crystal's wedding. Yeah, that's kind of what I thought. So Drapey we all and, we looked oh, around, Dad, and, and it's like silky. Yeah. There was quite a few. There was about 10 wow. of us that were searching the store for the perfect dress for you. And Oh, yeah. you guys did good. Yes. I like it. Thank you. You're welcome. You're welcome. And then if I can... And I think sometimes, I mean, knowing, you know, we're all friends and we all like to travel. Sometimes it's nice. Maybe you don't have Indonesia, Malaysia on your... Um, tour list but you don't know I mean we all we know from like Bali is yeah we make boutiques there and I'm sure there's a sandals club there yes. you know so being able to be able to see the other side see how far your dollar stretches if you don't want to go on a sandals vacation you know right I think it's not horrible. I think it is interesting because yeah but our it's what you would tell friends super strong. if we're right. just sitting having coffee and you know chit-chatting oh my gosh where how would you get this and you know 
Does our dollar stretch? You know, it's all about us Americans traveling. We always want to know how expensive a travel is. How big of a vacation is it going to be? Yeah. Dollar is strong. We had a great yeah. job shopping and doing the math, and mm -hmm. we all had it on, and we had our little cheat sheets of how much it was, yeah. and and it's still just a great way to be able to be able to help their economy. I mean, it is what oh. it is, but being able to go there and be able to spend mm -hmm. more than what the locals will. I mean, that's what they want, anyways. Is they want those? They do. Every one of the um, those countries, everywhere we visited, they were um, dependent on tourism. Yeah. I mean, that's really. Um, you know, they've got some exports, um, but, and that was the other thing too, and all of our buses and, yeah. you know, our big passenger vans, no matter what we did, everybody just kind of parted the ways and they it's like, oh, let them through, let them through. And, you know, they, they, they were supportive of, That's good. of the traveler. So these are batiks that are from that same place. So <gasps> I just want you to notice, maybe we can put some up this behind us. so different. So different. These people, and again, this is Malaysian batik. And again, in terms of dollars, I had written down on here. Yeah, this is These so are, This different. is a two meter piece that cost me um, $11 American, which is probably, which is quite a bit more than I think we would have paid kind of, I don't want to say out on the street, but, um, but because we were at a very expensive place. It's nice to support but who's still eleven dollars. Yeah. So if you Yeah, this is so different. Yeah, can... I'll go zoom in for you guys. But different from the first boutique factory you showed us. Yes. And definitely different from what we get here. Yes. Cause this is all hand done. Okay, so you can see if you look at this up close. So um, I think you, if you watched that first video where we went to that one batik place where they were using the jarling and or the Canton, I think they call it a couple different things to paint the wax. So they do that, but then all of this other color, they are also hand painting the color. That's amazing. Isn't that amazing? I'm gonna flip it around for a minute. Okay. I don't wanna. Isn't that amazing? Oh. And so $11 American for two meters, which is almost two yards. I mean, what's a meter? 39 inches. That's, um, it's pretty amazing what they do. So a little bit harder to do it, quite a bit more ornate. But again, this is not a quilt. What they'll do with this is they will make a skirt, they'll skirt. do a wrap. Mm -hmm. And then when we bought them, this is how they were all wrapped. So we didn't know what any of them really looked like. So I just grabbed a couple of different colors to see but all of them have like these borders and stuff on them and all of the little dots the little dots are a um, very specific thing and in fact they don't say batik they all say batik batik, batik. yeah I noticed and, that at Hoffman yeah and it's because of the tick the tick 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 is how is because that's what they do are all of these little dots the tick 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 and so when he was I have, I have to turn this one around look at that one Isn't that amazing wow i know so that's anyway amazing. this one was yeah so these three um are from malaysia this is malaysian batik I tried to leave. Oh, that was Song Cat. Okay. Was right. that was that the, yeah, was that the same place you yes. were at? Um yes. the first go around? Yes. This is Dad's other shirt. He okay. um got this. Yeah. Yeah. So he bought two shirts. Yes. Yeah, this so is bright for him. Huh? I know. I like, know. I know, right? He oh, it is it. really different. I know. Totally different. Yeah, so here's and the This is also iCat. So this is that same just simple weaving, but you can see that, oh, this one is lined. Ooh. It's a very dressy shirt, but it's all woven. So this is kind of their simple, um, it does it's have cool. a pattern to it. Yeah. Um, and it is woven, but look at the difference. This is the song cat. <gasps> oh, so different. So different. Oh, that's right beautiful. Open. It is so beautiful. And these are the ones it that almost looks embroidered. Yeah. Not woven. Well, these are the little tail runner pieces. Yeah. So <laughs> this is 
That's awesome. Yeah. Yeah. So these are pieces that, so this one is, um, oh, let me see. My, this is a peacock. Can you see the peacock? Oh, yes. So this is a peacock. And so this is a very traditional oh. and then um, kind of a um, welcome to our home kind of thing. And you can see on the back, see it's all it's almost exactly the same woven. Mm -hmm. And this is all done. And, um, and then they cut it and see here. She oh, said, oh, we didn't cut that. I said, leave that. Leave that. Because what they do is they'll do one and then they do another and they do another. Sure, and sure. then they cut them apart at the end. But I kind of like that. So... Anyway, so this one, nice little table runner size because again they had different sizes, but um, from sure. the picture, you know, doing wearable different things. Mm -hmm. And, and then, it would make sense if they're what I was telling us yesterday if their homes are just basic necessities, you know, in a tiny little room um, for bedrolls and stuff. They're not going to decorate their table for a company or anything. So I can see where it's all out of necessity, not right. Decoration. I love this one. Okay, now this one is for my friend Margo. Oh, it so, does look like Margo. It does, right? <laughs> so here's the funny thing. Margo often watches us, so I don't know if she's going to see this or not. Let her find it naturally. Um, uh, don't tell her. But <laughs> this Mar to her maybe before she watches it. Margo has a very serious boyfriend. Yes. And they are in so much in love that it's, it's almost nauseating. <laughs> So sweet. It's just <laughs> almost too much. They love each other so much. And um, I kind of feel like there might be a wedding in our future. Love it. This is the traditional wedding gift. Ah. Because what it is, if you look at this, let's see, I have to think for a second. Oh, here we go. Let's sit down. This is also, this is two birds. Um, and so that's see the ver oh, it's not going to stay on top of the other one. So it's two um, birds um, because, again, the same thing. And it's the two peacocks and see how they're joined. Oh, yes. Like this. So this one is a little bit different um, because they are, um, they mate for life. Yes. And um, and then, and I remember that Joe, uh, my, um, Brian's stepdad, my father-in-law, mm -hmm. Um, uh, was Japanese and um, a traditional Japanese gift is to give ducks because ducks also, also not only life. mate for life but if one falls it goes back and stays you uh -huh. know until um, but anyway so this is a very traditional oh. this means um, this is a wedding gift it means a wedding is happening so and it's um that's so really I'm, cool. I'm hanging on to this I'm not gonna give it to you just yet but I'm gonna be <laughs> I'm gonna be ready I'm gonna be ready and <laughs> don't tell her <laughs> maybe she'll find out this one I love that one good this one is yours that's so awesome this one is beautiful they're just so rich and this looking. same school that you were at that they were doing mm -hmm. this is it the, the, the same, this same people same yes people. this is the stuff that you um, <gasps> and this one is a very welcoming one can you tell what it is pineapple it's Heart. pineapple <laughs> Is it a heart? Yeah, heart. Yeah, it is an upside down heart. Yes, yeah, so this is pineapple, and this is just a very, you know, she said it's just a, again, just a, a pleasant, happy one. Uh, this particular one didn't have a super, but it was pink, Love pink it. and black, which was kind of fun. So, do they dye their own threads? There too, or do they? Is that yes. one of their imports? Yes. Nope. They do their own threads, and um, gosh, amazing. You no. Know. This is another one. I just really like this one. I'm not sure yet who. And again, feel the, oh, and the difference with this oh, one, this one, is this one is made out of banana reed. And so, and they use the tree, the trunk, and they strip it, strip it, strip it, strip it, oh. and then wash it and boil it and it whatever. It feels like it's coated in like almost a wax, maybe. It just a has rough, a, it a has rough. a fibrous feel to it. Does. it. Yeah, you wouldn't, um, and she said to, and so this one is, um, they would hang this up typically, um, and this one is about family. Oh, and cute. So this, I, and these are their huts. This is how they live. They're all up on. Stilted up. Yeah, and there's these huts that are there. So this is family, and they would make this specific to their family. 
that you know if there's a husband and a wife and how many kids and so they had different ones Very that might cool. have four or five kids or whatever but um, so this cool. one is a like a wall hanging and then what else is in here and then these little bags and I think I got I got these for the girls so there's some other how cute little eye cap bags on a little there's a little hand wristlet yeah oh and I love that it says on block on it yeah uh yeah cute awesome all right so this is eye cat and song cat, song cat. totally yeah. different I yeah I had no idea right Oh, and then here's another. This must have been more boutique from. Oh no, this one was from. Okay, so this was from. We went to Phuket, Thailand. Thailand also has boutique. Um, and so remember, was our, this the one you guys taxied to yes. you, Lori and Kelly? Okay, they yeah. saw pictures of that. Oh, okay. We did oh. show, I don't remember, I probably was one of the first Faber chats that we were chatting okay, and I good. shared the pictures that you guys went to the quilt store. Yes. Yes. Or fabric store, yes. whatever. Yes, and of course we make a spectacle of wherever <laughs> we go. And we have a friend, Noon, who is Taiwanese and when she would go back, she would always bring Brianna and yeah, I she would. Um, batik. And, um, and she, of course, said, everybody says batik, and um, very, very different from ours. And so this yeah, was the this stuff that we, and I think I got some for everyone here um, and so it's just and this is again Taiwanese the teak and so very different but it's still that little tick 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 you know the little yeah. the white dots um, and so this one oh still pretty. equally pretty look how yeah, pretty that really one really pretty so this is a two meter piece oh that pretty beautiful Beautiful. And let's see. We'll show you a few. This one is yours. Let's open. Oh, this one I got for Carolyn. Doesn't this look like Carolyn Ooh, Harris? That's okay. pretty. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Purple, blue, little Purple, metallic, blue, little shininess. Metallic. Ooh. Yeah. That one's pretty yeah. too. But they love shiny, shiny, shiny. Thailand. It was all everything was shiny, everything shiny, was shiny. We, I, I didn't get all. We had to search to find some stuff that was not shiny. Wow. But, interesting. Yeah. Oh, I love this. And the fan. <laughs> it's almost, it's almost really pretty. I love it. It's so much, I feel like more bold, more almost printed yeah. than almost petite the yeah. way they do it. Yeah. Lots of color, 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 color. Yeah. color. Saturated color. Mm -hmm. I love that background. Mm -hmm. Love it. Really Thank pretty. You. And then here's another one. So, oh, gorgeous. Are they pretty? Yeah. And so, so packaged so nice. Packaged nice. Yeah. They, yeah, really, really nice. Now, in their fabric stores, they're essentially just selling fabrics for someone who's making garments. Oh, absolutely. And, um, and I might be able to put in another picture. Everything is on rolls. Yeah, we they don't saw bolt that it was anything. Or rolled. And mm -hmm. um, cotton, uh, we could find cotton, but. Um, but again, they don't, they wouldn't even understand when we said we made blankets and it's like, what, what, right. and what is mm -hmm. that for? Um, it just isn't something that they do at all. It's all clothing. And you could find stuff that was just very simple um, stuff to very ornate, lacy, silky, you know, that kind of thing. And, um, awesome. and the women, they, you know, they wear dresses. I mean, that's why, right. that's why the bathrooms, are you know, the way, are the sure. way that they are, um, because that's what they, yeah, what but they it's wear. really light material. It is lightweight. Um, very breathable. It ve yeah, it's beautiful. So but keep in mind too, that they're layering, right? They right. are not, it's not a single so layer it's of still anything. Gonna be it's layer warm. after layer after layer. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Good morning. Hi. No, you're, you're okay. Awesome. Yeah. And that's why, because we t we talked about the squatty potties, right? Uh, Have we I talked about that on air? So it's a kind of a funny thing. They probably knew it from when you were in like Naples, the Mediterranean, because we talked, talked about, about it before. And the Western, and yeah. Mm -hmm. So. Um, so I have a list of seven critical tips if you ever go to Indonesia, <laughs> things that you need to know. Number one on the list is do not walk anywhere without toilet, um, tissue paper and um, alcohol wipes in your pocket. 
because they do not use toilet paper. It mm-hmm. is not a thing. They don't do it that way. Um, even if you find a Western toilet, which is what they call it, which is a toilet to sit on, um, and they are rare, um, but even if you find one of those, there is not toilet paper in there. Interesting. Um, there is a hose, much like you know your hose in your um, in your kitchen, your mm-hmm. little spray nozzle thing. That's what they use. Mm. And um, but most of the time, you're standing over this drain, and so you stand. And I have to admit that I still absolutely do not understand it because I think that if I am in my jeans. And but they I don't wear squat. that. No, okay, but I think if I squat and then I use that, how am I going to then dry off? And then here's well, the other thing I, I think. If I have a dress, you know, uh-huh. and I have a hose, how am I going to knock it that everywhere? I, yeah, I'm I mean, I, that. I don't understand it, and I wish that I had the nerve to ask somebody to explain it to me. <laughs> because <laughs> I don't understand it. Yeah. I don't understand... Because we've we've all went to the bathroom when we've had a prom dress on, right? right. And so we've hiked that up and held it and sat down and uh-huh. did whatever we needed yeah, to yeah. do. So I don't understand why standing and spraying while you're standing is... I have no idea. I don't understand. But it's something you obviously learn when you're getting potty trained. It's the thing. It was really good because me, man, I don't go anywhere without wipes <laughs> and I had tissue paper because the very first bathroom we went into all of us are standing there going what is happening oh, no. I got you I know how this and works. so <laughs> like, here's this and here's this and um and we were at a gas station but it was it was rare yeah. to find a western toilet but but anyway because that's how they dress is it's layers, layers and layers and layers, and, layers mm-hmm. and all dresses all dresses we we yeah, might have found no they don't wear they don't wear pants and to make this into a quilt, to cut it up, make it into something to, you know, do all of that. All that I do is I just interface it. So right. I take my 911 FF fusible interfacing, fuse it to the back of it, just stir it up a little bit, and then sew it like and cut it like normal. I do add a little bit of extra carefulness when I'm pressing. I usually press from the back side, from the interface side, just to make sure my iron isn't too hot. I can also test my iron on a little swatch of fabric, but you can definitely do it. You can do it with it if you can do it with a t-shirt. You can do it with just some basic, you know, f- clothing material. This is fantastic. This was also in Phuket. Ah. Oh. So this was another one that I know. Isn't that pretty? I love that one. Oh, butterflies. Mm-hmm. Gorgeous. And a lot of hibiscus. Mm-hmm. That's funny. hibiscus was a big thing. Was and it? And when was we it? talk about they grow, they have a they grow hibiscus, but it grows so well there it grows into a tree. And um, so the hibiscus flower is a great big thing it's for them. Thing. And they're carving. They carve out of hibiscus wood. Wow. Teak, I had no idea. Teak grows there everywhere. Teak wood everywhere and hibiscus. Wow. Yeah, I this no is yours. Of course. Love it. Yeah. Okay, let's see. Maybe that's um, just me being young and not as traveled. <laughs> but I think I, hibiscus well, is very Hawaiian. I think that was it. I, I guess it is probably an island thing. Well, the other funny thing about... Because um, we had asked them, well, what all grows here? There is nothing mm-hmm. that does not grow there. Well, I mean, everything. That, they have perfect. The growing season, and yeah, yeah, and they get, they oftentimes get two, they get two rice crops, they get two corn crops, they get two, sure. um, they grow peanuts. It probably makes why people will just feed everybody. Who cares? And I think they the don't, thing. they're not going to run out of the season's crop. You yeah. know, cows from corn, you, you have. Yeah. A month, maybe. A month, and then you're and done. And then you're done until the next season. Right. Whereas over there, And I it's think that that's why, too, it helps them with that whole idea of, yeah. you know, need versus greed. And there is enough food. There, there absolutely is enough. is enough food. There's food you can, you know, walk one block and pick a, a mango, a coconut, um, sure. rice, papaya. Mm-hmm. A papaya. You know, yeah. you're, you might not get a lot of meat. You know, I sure. mean, the chickens, you got to catch a chicken. And those chickens know what's up. <laughs> and they're pretty thin. You don't have any fat chickens that have been around for a long time, I'm just going to say. They're the skinniest little the things yuggins. that I've ever seen. But um, but uh, but you're not going to go. You're not going to yeah. get hungry. So. Yeah. Cool. These are for the babies. Yeah, little eye cat. I know. These 
these are so fun. So I don't know if Wyatt will wear this or not, but oh, I thought it was so cute. Look at his little shorts. Especially if Nana got it for him. I know. Ooh, he these would like that, though. His shorts and his shirt. But it feels cool, right? Yeah. Isn't Almost like, fun? you know, perfect little swim trunk stuff. If we're going to the beach. Yeah. And, and it's just nice and lightweight. And oh, so, and awesome. they have little matching outfits. This one is for <laughs> I love that. <laughs> I know, right? That's so cute. <laughs> She's not going to do it with those little beaded tassels. I know. It's a on her shirt, too. <laughs> oh, that's cute. <laughs> and this one is for Miss Harper. Oh, she will love that. She wore, know, right? chose to wear a dress. Oh, it's a little it's rocker. A little, yes. <gasps> it's her favorite thing ever. Yes. And she often will, I mean, she likes tank tops. She likes tank tops. Almost every day I say, where is your sweater? Where is your sweater? I know. Yeah. yeah. And it. it does have she likes, little. She definitely prefers summer clothing. Yes. She likes her rompers. She likes. Yes. And it's nice and dresses. soft. Yeah, really soft. Yeah, it's a really nice, nice weight. Oh, cool. Yes, that's for the babies. They won't like clothes. They'll go, okay, yeah, where's our real presents? So. <laughs> they don't mind clothes, yeah. though. Harper thinks it's cool to get new clothes. Even yeah. if they're hand-me-downs. <laughs> yeah. Ooh, I got new clothes. This is for Harper. Oh, bracelets. Some little Some bracelets. Bangles. We got those in Bali. Beautiful. And then, oh, here's She more. has her very own jewelry box already full of bracelets and necklaces. So um, one of the times that I called home and was trying to talk to the kids, I, we had such um, terrible cell service. Yeah. It, it was hard to talk to the future. And I don't know if you know, it was delayed. It was. was it on your end? No, but not on mine, but I knew, I could tell it was delayed on your end. Very delayed. So I was in the future. Yes. So it makes sense. So mm -hmm. I could tell, I think the first time my phone call, I didn't quite click, but by the second time I realized the response. So it was really hard for the kids to talk to Nana because was. that long breath. Yeah, she, they get it from me. They, she obviously didn't hear me. She obviously isn't listening fast enough. And so I'm I, out. I can only imagine how it worked with them. But I could, it, was it wasn't delayed on my end, but I could tell it was delayed. Totally delayed on, on mine. End. Yeah. Because so I could like three to five seconds. Yeah. Enough you know. that if you're a child, I'm, I'm done. <laughs> cannot hold my attention that long. No. Um, so it was fun for me to tell Wyatt that um, about elephants. Yeah, he a great big deal. Fantastic. He loves elephants. Elephants are a great big deal to him. Mm -hmm. And um, uh, Ganesh is uh, th uh, they revere elephants. And elephants, wh wherever they have them, and they have the um, the statues of them. It is um, the um, I don't know if, am I saying the god of wisdom? Is that right? Um, it's he's the um, destroyer. Or it's like. The clearer of obstacles, an obstacle clearer opening for new. Can you hear Tracy? Oh, the, um, he's the destroyer, so he clears the <laughs> obstacles um, to um, allow wisdom in. Allow wisdom in, yeah. So he Very is cool. a sign of wisdom. And there's different things where if he's, you know, different poses and different things. Oh, so anyway, elephants everywhere, elephants and dragons. Elephants and dragons. Oh, that would be Everywhere. his life. He would have a kick out of that. Oh, an elephant t-shirt! God yeah. of beginnings. So God of beginnings. He, yeah, there's a whole really cool story to it. But yeah, wow. they, <laughs> yeah, they... Cool. Yeah. And this was in Thailand. So everything. Um, Thailand, Malaysia, uh, uh, Singapore, uh, Indonesia, everywhere. Elephants, elephants, elephants. That's elephants. amazing. Yeah, it was really good. It's like, speaking of elephants, so um, was it Thailand? Where did we go see the Big Buddha? The Big Buddha was also Thailand, and they have this massive, uh, again, we'll put in pictures, massive, massive Buddha that's up on the top of this mountain, and you had to go up all of these stairs, and there's a ton of people there, and everything was fine, but before they let you in, you didn't have to pay Is to go like see him. Is it like the Rio Grande? Um statue maybe not that big but like that like that okay. yeah you had to drive up and there was a bunch of, and there was a spot for you to park and then there were different things that you could do cool. and then you'd go up to see him and it was massive. massive and then they had all of these other statues around it and um we couldn't go there was a spot where you could go inside but they were putting a new tile and they were doing something up there but um and that was where we figured out that you had to find the right buddha statue for the year of your birth the day of your birth uh, wow. and there was this whole thing for where you would put money um, based on uh what day and um anyway it was a whole big thing so it was That's kind of cool. fun to research and and then um a little fun little story so kelly who's so cute you know so we were taking pictures and she's standing there in front of the buddha and um this big uh wind storm came up <laughs> wind gust uh -huh. came up blew up her skirt. Oh. It was the funniest Marilyn thing. Marilyn Monroe was, Yes. Mortified. Mortified. 
mortified. We were so concerned that she had offended Buddha, and here we were with her because we had to cover ourselves. Of course, um, yeah. You could not have shoulders. You could not have anything below your. And knee here she is showing. flashing, she is flashing Buddha. <laughs> Big old flashy flash. Oh. Yes. And so I, of course, was fully covered. I tend to not be um, sleeveless. I never sure. show anything below the knee or above the knee for that matter. Um, but I had, so they had these little things where you could buy sarongs. Sure. And they made you do it. I mean, it wasn't an, uh, somebody was trying to make it past them. It's like, uh, no, 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 no. Right. Um, we don't do it like that here. And so they, um, because there were lots of tourists. And so they made everybody cover themselves. And I think it's um, a perfect, I mean, we did that in absolutely. Um, Turkey and other places Absolutely. to see the mosques. Why wouldn't you? And it's, you know, everyone's different and you just have to respect what that is. If you don't respect Absolutely. it, you can't be there. That's right. Follow their rules. Yeah. So um, I had to buy one anyway. And this is the one I bought. For you. Oh, <laughs> I love this one. <laughs> yes. Oh. I didn't have to wear cool. it. I know. I know. Oh, and this one's very much, it's rayon. You guys yeah, probably it's see the way it drapes, but it's rayon. Beautiful. It's just meant to cover things that someone should not see. Yes, of course. And then also with these same It makes things. you want to research their elephant. I know. Everything. Especially I know. a lot of you guys who've been here for a while is, you know, Wyatt's birth story or whatever. He's meant for yes. greatness. And it makes he me is. wonder why he's so about elephants. All about elephants. Always has been. Before he even knew what an elephant was. Yeah. He was and they had a lot it. of, um, here in Thailand, um, they have elephants everywhere. So the idea of, oh, going to see an elephant, man, pull over. I mean, really? here you can stop. You can feed these elephants. We have two of them. Come and feed them. These elephants, you can give them a bath. These wow. elephants, you can ride them. These, you know, they'll. That's all a, I would want to do. I know. And there was one, um, Nancy Toussaint, um, uh -huh. uh, she was feeding him or whatever, and she has this picture on her Facebook page, and they were like all kissing her and oh. all, up, <laughs> all up in there. And um, so, yeah, if you want to go see elephants, Thailand is the, the place, place to, to do go. that. And um, right. also tigers. I'm not sure how that worked. I'm assuming that the tigers were drugged, but um, mm -hmm. a lot of people did that too. And I remember seeing pictures of Noon doing that. Yeah. So that's another thing. So I don't know how like that domesticated goes. domesticated tigers, man. I don't know how domesticated. Can you do that? I mean, they are a wild... I don't know. Oh. I had questions, but I didn't see them. Well, I know like at Cattails here in Spokane, they've mm -hmm. got a tiger rescue. And with their handlers, they are amazing with their handlers. Mm -hmm. It's some sort You're of not a... not eat them. No, I mean, you know accidents happen but they have never had one of those accidents the handlers mm -hmm. are very um keen to how they're reacting you know mm -hmm. are they swishing ears that tail back. what are the ears doing what are they doing with their hands um positioning posture so they're really good um most times we go you can i i think you have to be 11 maybe nine and you can actually feed a tiger oh. you're behind a gate and you have a little poker and he's just right there um but then he they tell you i listen to the spiel every time and they totally know so mm. i think it depends on the relationship Maybe how they're raised or whatever. How, yeah and the relationship that person has with that mm. animal well nancy did that nancy toussaint um um did that with the tiger and she and she has the picture of it and she is laying on this tiger but she said that yeah and it's on like his tush he's uh -huh. like kind of curled up kind of sitting there and she's kind of like leaning like this on his rump Wow. But she said that it was very specific that she could only, that, you know, he had to be ready. And she said, okay, now you can touch him. And you couldn't touch his head or his paws. This was the only part of him that you could touch. And, sure. And I asked her, I was like, well, were you scared? And she said, no, nah. he was like totally kind of docile and kind of didn't care. You could tell he did it all day long. But I don't know. It makes you wonder. Yeah. But the know. elephant thing. Yeah. Fantastic. Cool. Elephants, totally a thing. You can go see him, pet him, touch him, feed him, ride thing. him. They were all good. Um, so these, these when we went to, um, uh, when we were in Bo uh, Boda Badur, um, these were gifts in our room. Oh! They had little, everywhere we went, they had like the big old plates of fruit and sure. they had presents for wow. us. And these were the presents there. Um, of course, there was supposed to be one for each person in the room. So one is technically dad's and one is technically mine. But Thank goodness you took him with mine. you. Yes. <laughs> Yes. So, yeah, These are pretty, awesome. Yeah. What a perfect little scarf. I know. Well, handmade batik. Rayon. Beautiful. Yeah. These are really cool. Yeah. Gosh, I love a good rayon batik. Is, I know. Mm. I know. Okay, let's see. And then these, oh, these were some fun little, um, I got these also at the, um, that batik museum-y place where 
Um, uh, the these guys were. No, not these guys. The um, where. Oh, oh, the for one of your where first stops. These guys were that museum-y Yes, yes. History place. And so I got these for everyone. So there's a. Um, oh, those are cool. For all of the girls at the shop. So there's a. And it's. Uh, here's the B. Oh, the keychain. Cute. Yeah. I love that. Here's the Marge. Marge's is also cool. Wow. Pink. Here's the Denise. Of Dolly. And the Janet. Oh. And uh, anyway, so I have. That's really cool. CK. Yeah, so I have have those for everyone. I this, They're just pretty, aren't they? They're really pretty. Yeah. A little bit of epoxy. And Beautiful. A little bit of paint. All right, let's see. What is. Um, oh, more. <laughs> more boutique. More boutique. Love it. This one was also. Um, uh, yeah, so this one is also Malaysian. So this is more of the Beautiful. Malaysian boutique. And uh, boutique. And that was the funny thing is that, you know, each night you'd get home, it's like, wait, did I get enough? Who am I buying for? And, <laughs> right. <laughs> shoot. I need another one. So yeah, that's these. gorgeous. And then what else is in here? Um, oh, one more. Oh, look at that. Fell out of the, oh. So this one, this is that song cat also. I'll let you open that. Um, they did have a bunch that had um, just, again, they're weaving it. And so if they decide to put some fun little, you know, sparkly stuff in it, isn't that beautiful? Oh. That is, I mean, this one you really could wear. Absolutely. You know, it's just... Oh, I love that. I know. Let's, can you guys see how sparkly it is? I don't have to wear this to Ducks Unlimited this week. I know. Look at the back. Look how cool I that know. is, too. Just all that cool stripe. Yeah, it's just the... That the, well, the weave makes. Yep. Beautiful. Oh, yep. Love it. Good. All right, let's see. Okay, so this one, I know what this one is. This is from, this is from, okay, so the place, the very first batik video where we went and we made our own batik. Uh-huh. That's this it. it. Yeah, because so right. then we also shopped there. Of course. So this was the piece that I made. And see, that's how they packaged it for us. Oh, that's really cool. They that's really it, nice. Put it all in the little thing. And um, I know that it sort of looks like a dinosaur. It's a dragon. <laughs> so this was our little piece that we made. Oh, that's cool. And then I did, if you see, I think I showed the picture of her yes. doing that. Uh -huh. So I took a pencil and I wrote my CR24. Everybody wrote their name or whatever and they, they wanted. Up. And then she took it over and then the gal took her little Jarlene or canteen, whichever you decide to call it. And she wow. did it before it went over and was dyed. So... That That's was awesome. the piece that I made, and everybody's turned out so good. Everybody did something a little bit different. And these were the things that we bought there. So this one is yours, of course. Uh, and this was as pink as they could get. It's a little red. That's okay. But it was... Uh, Ooh, a super cool. And so this was the oh, stuff where they were doing the yeah. chops and... Yeah, the we saw this one in, like, blue or something. Yes. That peacock yes. looking. Where is he? Right there. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, and then fantastic. This one. What was funny is I had picked this one for myself, and I don't know if you saw um, Randy's husband had this in a shirt. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah, huh. yeah. And that one is also a chop. Beautiful. And I don't think that I got. Yeah, when you did your video, you weren't sure you got any of the hand. Printed I didn't stuff. get any of the hand printed stuff. Mm -hmm. um, Lori, m m and I should have searched that way. Sure. But I was buying based on colors because I really am going like something. Yeah, I love this. Yeah, one. It's a beautiful what they're printing on. It is a really nice material. I love this one. That one is so cool. Just how even it is and yeah, being stamped. How straight yeah. they kept it. Yeah, and feel it. Yeah, it's, it's really nice, good quality. And then I bought for everyone all of these little. And I think little, I showed you guys these in the video, right? That these were a dollar. We saw, uh, we saw at the very end. We saw these pictures. So that's my little chop with the little oh, yeah, dragon. Right. Yeah. So again, the U.S. dollar is strong. I know it's again gross to talk about money, but these were a dollar. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, because it's their fabric. Uh-oh, babies are out. <laughs> and um, 
And then they sew them up right there. I love it. That's amazing. And then I was such a good customer, and I think they were so, and they, I was videoing, and they knew what I was doing, and Ooh. you got out. And um, so then they gave me this gift. Aww. On the way out, they um, that's nice. They kept calling me Miss Cindy. Yeah. And so, <laughs> yes, honey. What about presents? Oh, I'm getting we're going them. through them. Those are all presents. Here, look. Go put this on. What? Those are all presents. Yes. Well, just some of them. But look, we opened this jumper up first. You want to go put the jumper on? Oh, it looks cute. fantastic, doesn't it? No. Yeah. It does. Yes. Oh my god, it's super cool. <laughs> we have an aroma in here now. Ooh, yeah. Maisie came out for the ever change. <laughs> Just shake it. So these are they paint these. So wow, is that at boutique? Car, yeah, at that boutique place. Yeah, and this yeah, is I that. Um, this is that dragon fruit. Oh yeah, sure. And then some fishes. Cute. And then these are the little. I think I showed you guys these in the video. Oops. These are the little tools. Did the I show this in the video? Uh -huh. Yeah. Because I think it's. It's spelled D J A R L I N G, but then also they were calling it in other places. They were calling it a canteen or a C A N T I N. Mm. But um, anyway, that's it. Oh yeah, they look way different than the ones we can get here. Yeah, look how fine that. And those are official. Is. Yeah, these they sell there. And this is what they use. That's awesome. We're drawing on their batik. We're drawing on fabric. We'll take a break for a second, clean this up, and um, yikes! <laughs> and look for the presents. <laughs> <laughs> right. These are kind of awesome. Okay, we're we are getting near the end. Uh, we have some <laughs> big things that'll have to be sort of unearthed just a little bit, but a um, couple little things. So when we were in Singapore, that's cool. <laughs> I know. Uh, it's just uh, that's I, just, it's just painted. Cute. It's just painted Look at that on, all. and it's just a cute little um, purse <sighs> that. Yeah, I just thought it looked like you, and it's real leather. And um, love it. And it has a couple of options or some sort other of straps and stuff. Yeah, in straps it. on there. So <gasps> I thought that, that was cute. That is cool. Vanna loves owls. I do. And so I do. that was kind of cute. And then this was when we went. I talked yesterday about the pearl place, yes. and this was my little present. And then um, we also did some shopping for you. <laughs> um, but this is what I also picked up for myself. So you and I have matching ones. I oh, okay. For that. That's but okay. Anyway, that's your. I don't know if I have it on the right mm -hmm. way or not. Um, Oh, I love that. Yeah. It's, it's uh, just a, a simple little, just a so single pearl. pearl. So these pearls are, um, they are saltwater pearls, and they are there on the island. And that color, they're a little bit um, golden. And they, are, um, they do. And they mm -hmm. are specific to, um, to um, Lombok. Yeah. Um, it's like that, a champagne -y color. Yeah. Yeah, those That's pearls beautiful. you can't get anywhere else. And so, um, and they came with a certificate of authenticity. Wow. And, um, Thank so, you. You're welcome. You're welcome. And then, I don't remember what this is. Oh, yeah. Oh, matching set of earrings. Matching earrings. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Yes, you're welcome. That's pretty. Yeah. And the same Love thing, it. So. Yeah. I know you Thank haven't you. been wearing earrings as much anymore. I know. Of, but I think she's not grabbing anymore, right? No, I don't think she's grabbing anymore. Maisie was on this grabbing thing, and that's yeah. the last thing I want to do is yeah. figure out how to fix that. Yank. <laughs> For the babies. <gasps> the babies. Yeah, we did find. I don't remember where I got these. Oh, and I'll take a picture. Harper did put her romper on. It's really cute. Okay. It fits her good. Uh, oh, here we go. An elephant. <laughs> oh, look how cute he is. <laughs> A monkey. And, and a tiger. tiger. Cute. <laughs> the um the animals of Indonesia. I was gonna say these are the animals that you saw. Yes. Yes. So that's theirs. You can we know who the elephant belongs to and you can decide on the other ones. The other thing that is there that's very specific is the cashew trees. So we did not go out one. Did you take a picture of a cashew tree? Because I have no um, idea what that would even look well, like. Well, it's a funny thing. Um, no, uh, that was the trip that it was going to be that five hour on a bus. And oh, yeah, one yeah. of the spots was at this cashew farm. Um, but you can kind of Google it and see how it works. And what happens is you've got like this big piece of fruit. Uh -huh. And then there's this cashew thing that kind of hangs on the top of it. And so it's quite a lot of... I don't want to say waste because I don't think that that's right, but um, but the little cashew, the part that we eat, it's is just a little top. It's a yeah, seed. is the seed. Mm. Is the seed. What do they do with the? I think they don't do pot. anything with it. 
I don't think so. I don't think they did anything with it. I did not go. Sorry. I don't know. But I did find some. Interesting. Cool. Okay. So, anyway. So that's what that is. And then, so the other thing is, oh, these, let's see. No, let me show you these. These, I talked about these yesterday. These are the sandals that oh, the we sandals. had to wear. And they gave us this little bag and, you know, they didn't want them back. But these are the, san so these were dad's sandals oh, for so going up foam. to um, the Bora Badur. And these were mine. Wow. Ooh, let's see yours. Lovely. Lovely. <laughs> no, you know, I think that's a common thing that to wear with a button that? like that. I think so. I think it was no. It was so uncomfortable. But I bet they would take some getting used to. Yeah. Sure. But I think you're right. And made there. They yeah. made them. Right. Oh, that's cool. the, uh, Yeah. Board out board. Of, but I yeah. also do think that you are right. If you're in too much comfort, you can do naughty things. Yeah. Or your yeah. children can do naughty things. Yeah. And you're they don't be want there you to jump longer. in with yeah. your tennis shoes on. You're going to be there longer than you are. And yeah. you're going to be more secure if you can stand up in here and pose and take a picture with the Buddha or whatever. Um, I think it makes sense that yeah. you they need a little bit of discomfort. And if you are a local, this probably won't bother you. Yeah. But again, that's not who they're worried about. No. They're worried about us tourists doing something naughty that we're not supposed to do for, yeah. you know, likes on the internet. Yeah. And ah! this is a little coconut button. Oh, cool. <laughs> yeah. They're kind of cool. I would probably not wear them again, but um, but they're cool. Case of really cool. Yeah. Well, uh, Pa kind of might need cool a pair to walk down to yes. the lake with, so. Yeah. Yeah. He might use his again. Maybe. Yeah. Maybe. <laughs> maybe. <laughs> with his socks. <laughs> um, and then, let's see. These... So what we'll show you for a second, I think we have to unearth these. So these, did we talk about this yesterday, the chops? The chops, oh we didn't. We did have one, because mom had to pack one in her carry-on. So I already got to open a chop. But these are of course the chops that are stamped the batiks. So just like our cool little sagebrush one that we showed for Fabra Chat yesterday, um, this is what they make, and they make it right there on the island. They have artists that do it um, out of copper, and then you they dip this in the wax and stamp it onto the batiks for the re-dyeing process. And it is just one of those very coveted things, at least for us here in, you know, our world. Yeah. Um, it's just a really, really cool thing to have. Um, and it was kind of funny because what happened was when we were in Indonesia, uh, when when we were in on the island of Long Kwai, and so we had gone back. Mm -hmm. I can't get that open. We um, Trace, can I have a pair of scissors? scissors. Sure. We uh, um, yeah, they're over here. I thought I had them. Oh, yeah. There you go. Thanks. We um, went back to the boat, and I think we had like an hour and a half um, left over before the boat was taking off, and there were different. There's like a little market, big. Sure. market there and they had all of these different vendors and as we were walking by um i saw one vendor who had taken chops and he had like cut them up and put them in like a shadow box and i paused for a moment it was this really pretty teak frame and so i saw them and i thought oh that's really cool and so then we went on the boat put our stuff back and i thought i'm just gonna go back and look at those so i got back off the boat went back over to the market and pa was with me and we were looking at him and and of course, Pa says, oh gosh, are you gonna get some of those? And I said, oh. And so I was looking at the guy and I said, well, so um, so these are real chops? And he says, oh yeah, yeah. He says, I go around, you know, there's other smaller companies that make batik that sell it locally. And when they're done with the chop, um, I buy them and then we repurpose them uh, in art. And he says, because most people don't really know what they are. And so we explain sure. it. And on the back, it has this little label of what it was. And I says, oh, yeah, that's fantastic. It's absolutely beautiful. And I said, but do you have any that you didn't cut up? <laughs> and he said, and he kind of looked at me like, well, for what? And I said, <gasps> I, I just really, I know what they are. And I want to use them. Right. And he says, for oh, their real as a matter purpose. Of and so, sure enough, he pulls out this box. And he's got five yeah, in this box. And so then I said, um, I want all five. I don't know if you can see. I'll go up close on these for you guys. Um, this one, ooh, honey, the light cut. Oh, it might be sharp, honey. Ooh, that one too. Ooh, ah! ooh sharp. I'm gonna have to give you back. I don't know why your sister lets you out. Ah! You pick on her and just torture Here, her. Here, take this. Take that and go. Don't let Lizzie get it. <laughs> she picked the tire. <laughs> um, this one's really cool though. It's got a vine and then the little dots, the little tick. 
<gasps> I love this we'll, one. Um, what we'll do is we'll um, unearth the other ones and then we'll show you because then the other thing over here yeah. is that um, is wood. So oh, we got a lot of openings. Yeah, we have a lot of openings. They're all wrapped really well um, because they do um, this carving. And same thing, we'll insert some pictures and show you. Um, they have teak, hibiscus, and sandalwood are the three primary woods that they use for doing carvings. Wow. So I brought home some carvings. <laughs> we'll open all of this stuff and we'll be right back. Okay, we're nearing the end. <laughs> Remove the suitcase. <laughs> okay, so um, so the others, I, I'm not the sure which ones we awesome. held up. Um, and we are going to, next year, one of our retreats is going to be a batik hand dyeing um, we've done it before. Mm -hmm. I think we've talked about this. Um, it's a lot of fun. It is a lot of fun, but we always, it was when Thelma was with us. And so mm, it'll be funny to, odd to do it without Thelma. But, um, but anyway, we're going to do that. So we'll do a close up picture of That's that. That's fantastic. And then, um, I did have other, she the more um, yeah, was... Pa, uh, Paul was looking for those. He knew he brought some home. Oh. So <laughs> it's like, wait, wait, those are for the kids. So, um, <laughs> one for you, one for Jared, one for, Love. uh, Jordan. So, uh, Pa has to share. So, um, so the weaving, so this was another thing that they did there. And, um, there's a whole little video, uh, that we took and, um, but it's something that you can easily Google and it's Malaysian, um, weaving and they do it with, um, they do it with a couple of different fibers. They do it with the banana tree mm -hmm. again. Um, they do it that way. And then they also do it with some, um, uh, reeds there's a reed that grows there and what they That's do cool. is they weave it and then they um boil it um and then they heat it oh, and so it's that's very how you, yeah it is it feels it's very sturdy. like wood and it's really really nice so they did those and then this was that's the same cool. idea that i thought was really pretty because oh, what they did i was these and then that dang jim he wanted to take home uh stuff for um the office and so he bought most of them. Oh. And so um, they were, uh, and then we found them in different places also, but aren't they wow. pretty? Because then they do the painting right on there. And then they just, and there's just a little That is amazing. Piece in there. I know. So hand painted. And the gal, um, when we were doing this, um, one of the gals is one that did it. And she was explaining that, um, you know, again, you know, the women don't really work. I mean, not sure. like we do. And so, um, but they like to have different things that they do if they're selling, maybe there's a rice dish that they make or a chicken dish that they make or whatever. Uh -huh. And so they might sell that and that gives them their extra money or they'll do something like this in the evening when they're done with everything, they'll have some little craft Cute. that they do and they sell it in a local market and it helps to provide money um, for their budget. So sure. um, so a lot of these things they're done by Just like a little, local like women. a little side hustle. A little sad hustle for the little coasters. I and love it. Those are really super, amazing. super cute. And then the wood is. Oh, and then <laughs> this was so fun. Everywhere we went, um, I just wanted to remember to tell you. So we say everywhere we went, they gave us um, ponchos. ponchos. <laughs> I bet <laughs> ponchos. And we're going. Now nah, we got this. It's okay. It doesn't matter. But they were so concerned about us getting wet. It's like we're from the Pacific Northwest. We totally got this. Where you're but um, but it was so nice, and all of us thought the same thing. It's like you come to Washington State, and we just go, "Hey, it's gonna get wet." Um, <laughs> you go get we, an umbrella. We, we don't give you these. But they had <laughs> umbrellas and ponchos pretty much um, everywhere we went. It oh. was. They were super worried about us. So it was really really nice and then this was kind of a fun thing um so one of the places that we went I have to make sure i have the name right oh it was in Kuala, no it wasn't in kuala lumpur oh yes it was in kuala lumpur uh malaysia there is um there's this whole story about um it was all um originally um inhabited by um there's native people and then there's a bunch of chinese people um mm -hmm. that came down there because it was kind of a ma major like a shipping area and so they had these houses that they made and they're like these um they're all up on stilts and so we went and toured that and it was really nice. But the other thing they had is something called clan housing. And so with clan housing, what it was is if your last name was Fo or your last name was Ku or your last name was 
Chan or whatever, there is a clan house. And so what they would do, it was this great big place and you could come there and there were little houses there near it and you could stay, you could, you know, immigrate down and you could stay there until you found a job or you did whatever. And um, if that was your last name, you were part of that house and you had a place to stay to come down and, and work down in Malaysia. And one of the most famous clan houses is the one where um, Anna and the King, which is a real true story. Uh, it's a movie featuring Jodie Foster. I don't know if I watch it. I'm gonna watch it. Find it and watch Done. it. It was filmed at this clan house, oh. and we visited there. We took all these pictures, and it absolutely beautiful. And it's kind of this famous place, and. And it is a real place, and there's a bunch of them. They're all over the place, but this particular one, um, now they um, um, offer it for tours because of what was filmed there. But here's the funnest part about it, is that, so there's this little book, and this is the teachings, and is it, um, oh, I don't know if it's Hindu, Krishna, mm, something. Um, these teachings, and it was um, how you raise your children. <laughs> and all of these little, these are pictures of the actual stone carvings of teachings. And it, there's 24, 24 stories of, of um, what, a children, what children need to understand mm -hmm. and how they treat their parents. It's pretty good. So like, for example, I mean, there's so, all of them are really good. We were kind of cracking up because we are Americans. <laughs> So we thought it was like hilarious, but like for example, there's one and it's absolutely serious and you can see the whole story unfold and then this kind of explains what the story is. So there's one for you. <laughs> uh, I'm just going to have you refer to story number 14 or whatever. But like for example, um, there was one where the father wanted to be outside and he wanted to rest outside in the garden, but there were too many bugs too many biting gnats that were bothering him. So he went back in the house and his son went out laid out in the garden to let the bugs get their fill. Oh. <laughs> chew, 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 go home. And then when it was cleared out, then the father came out. Interesting. Right? <laughs> I would not do that. <laughs> There's more. There's more. So anyway, oh. kind of fun. So um, anyway, all of well, us, we're reading. all listening and going, what? And uh, all of us bought this book. So. <laughs> Well, uh, no, I'm excited. So anyway, yeah. Okay, and then um, so then let's see. Um, so again, uh, wood dragons. Um, I'm a wood dragon, and wood dragons were everywhere. And so this is a fun little mm -hmm. um, keychain because uh, Wyatt also loves loves, he loves dragons. dragons. And I'm a water monkey. She's a water monkey. <laughs> I couldn't find a water monkey. I don't even know what that I means. found monkeys, but the whole thing, uh, it wasn't really, yeah. I looked for a water monkey, couldn't find them. But I did find <gasps> Tracy Ooh, is a metal rat. A metal rat. With some loot. Here's some money. That's really cute. I know. It's a cute little metal rat. Yeah. I like it. So that's one's for Tracy, but no water rat for you. No, that's okay. <laughs> so the wood carvings. The wood carvings are beautiful. So this one, <gasps> this is hibiscus. Oh, really? Look at the color of it. So the hibiscus is beautiful. It's pink. It is pink. Mm -hmm. It's beautiful. Lots of different colors. And, and I love the grain, how it just and feel it. is. Yeah, it's, it's wood. super light. Yeah. But it's yeah, wood, wood. Mm -hmm. And this is Ramaseta. And so this is this sweet story. I mean, everybody told it in every place and it's like, oh, here's the statue of Rama and here's the, you know, here he, his beautiful wife who was stolen by And we Rambutin. heard, maybe it was in the hot the ballet when you were traveling from the factory to another oh, yeah, yeah, one yeah. or to the headquarters. Yes, yes, yes. You, we saw all those statues and we heard him say, oh, and that's the statue of Rama and she was stolen or whatever. She was stolen by Rama. He didn't say the whole story, but he knew you knew already. Yes. But and the king that. of the monkeys and the monkeys yes. helped him to get his bride back. Because it so, made me want to, I haven't yet. I look it up. To, look it up. Mm -hmm. Yes, it's a big thing. Every island, everybody talked about it. The ballet that we went to was this. And I just have to say, oh my gosh, the best part about the ballet was the golden deer. So the golden <laughs> deer who got shot in the end. Oh, thanks. I know, but 
<laughs> she's coming out as she's dancing. Oh, she just was super, super fun to watch. And so, anyway, it was a fantastic ballet. It was a really fun story. And it's a story that everybody tells. And it's basically their Romeo and Juliet. Oh, okay. And so, um, but anyway, but this is um, Rama and Seta. So I got this for us. Um, and we're going to, I'm going to hang it over our bed. Oh, cool. Um, so I thought it was really sweet. We have a big wooden carved Word. headboard. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's And fitting. so I thought that would be kind of cool. So, oh, um, awesome. So, yeah, so we got that one for us. Us. And then um, this one, this is teak. Oh, love that. Yeah. And so this is another one that they Very um, cool. carve and then grab the wooden dragon. This so same thing Look also in teak. And yeah. Um, uh, yeah, I really, really liked that one. And then this one is, this is that, um, do you guys remember seeing the um, snake fruit? The snake fruit that yes, you know, we opened. The, mm -hmm. This is this is the snake fruit tree. Really? This is it. Yeah. It feels almost plasticky. Yeah. And like all the brambles funny. on it. Yeah. But that's what that is. Ah. And that one is well owl. That's and they really carved cool. it. We were watching them carve, wow. and we were watching them do it right there. And they just they they're do so it with, good at mm -hmm. it. So it must be a kind of a softer wood. It's a softer wood. And he said that the hibiscus wood was a little bit softer also. No, oh. that's not right. Hibiscus and the teal were the harder woods, but the um, sandal wood and the um, snake. snake fruit were a little bit softer. And it's just so light, light, lightweight. Yeah, it really is. Lightweight. Wow. And then this one is um, painted, and this one we got in... Um, uh, Bali. And this is a meditation mask. Oh, cool. Yeah, so carved and then painted. Sorry. And I got that for Tracy. It looks, so, yeah, it looks yeah. like her. Oh, oh my gosh. Oh, Fantastic. and then one last thing that's kind of fun is that every island that we went to, their yes. biggest export that they did. So, um, and they did do some exports. Um, a lot of what they grew, though, they make sure certainly that sure, everybody is fed. Taken care of. And there's a lot of community, everything. But um, the, one of their biggest exports and things that they sell abroad is coffee. Everybody had their own. In fact, one of the islands that we went to was the island of Java. And that's, of course, their biggest export. So sure. everybody had their right. big thing. And this is our, and they would give us their coffee to taste. And I'm all into coffee. I love coffee. I drink yeah. coffee all day long. And their coffee was good, um, but very different from island to island. And even the way that they made it. And on the island of Java, I maybe we could put in a picture. And I'm going to show you, um, I think I did a little video of the grounds. So it was this tiny little cup. It was like an espresso cup. And on the top there was a film of grounds on it really? when you drank it you had a rim of a ring of grounds is it an american and thing not to have grounds in your coffee because i mean in turkish it's the same way you've turkey, got a whole... it was the same thing they were all into their yeah crunchy coffee chewy yeah. coffee uh-huh maybe so maybe so italy though it was all instant nescafe that's true yeah it was all instant yeah yeah but, um, and then these guys, after you took like your first sip, there was probably like three swallows in there. The last two was almost, it was the consistency of syrup. It was so thick. Wow. Yeah. And it, what was funny is they're like watching us drink it like, oh, are you going to drink? It's like, it was good. It was good. It was good. It was strong. I mean, oh. you're not going to sip coffee all day. <laughs> You have your cup of coffee, one and, done. and then you are done. <laughs> but um, but anyway, and then the funniest story. This is not it. This is this was the coffee that I liked the best, mm -hmm. and I brought this home for everybody. We're gonna all drink it together. But um, the funniest story was that also I think on the island of Java, their most expensive. They had three different ones. Their most expensive was this particular tree, this p particular bean. Um, that they would harvest and it was had such a tough skin uh -huh. and was so strong that what they would do is they feed it to the cows. <gasps> oh, I've heard that. <laughs> and then the cows poop it out. And then you get it. And then they... I, I have heard that and there's also, is there one that also they feed it to a monkey? Oh, maybe they feed it to the the cows or the monkeys. The wildlife. The I've wildlife. Heard I've heard that. That's what they do. And they don't pick it off, they pick it up. And that's what they, out of excrement. Oh, and I and that's the that. most expensive, and it's a delicacy, and it's like, oh, we have that, yeah, and no, I know. No. <laughs> I know how that works. There's, that, there's just some things that you don't need to know, and that would be high on the list of, oh, mm, no. Interesting, that's a delicacy. Yeah, that's the, it's their most expensive coffee. 
and and what they often you know that's what did anybody what, in the group try no. it oh i mean i'm not brave <laughs> enough to do it but i want to know <laughs> no you just uh, you know. <laughs> It's one of those uh, things that taste it first, and now no, I'll tell you. you that's yeah. what I should have done. Yeah, yeah. Then are then. you allergic to the ground? <laughs> <laughs> Any sulfur or anything like that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 So anyway, so yes, yeah, so I brought back the coffee that I don't think that we can make it in the same way because I'm sure that There's you know they're trick. not gonna yeah yeah. But anyway, it was cool. Fun. And and again, if I haven't said it enough, I would say it again. It was probably an uh, we've been everywhere. We've we love to vacation. We love to travel. We've been all over the place. And man, Indonesia is a cool place to be fantastic well just even just so diverse and yeah. so unique and so untouched by all of the stuff that you know i mean yeah but there was one home. we found one mc oh i oh one more thing i should add about this we found one mcdonald's and the mcdonald's was in bali there was oh, only funny. one and the bus driver had pointed it out he says and you're gonna come upon there on the left up here there's going to be a mcdonald's and mm -hmm. it's like oh we don't care. And he says, no, it's, you know, that they are so um, interested by Western culture that, and he said, but it's not really the same. He said, sure. you order, you're not going to get French fries, you're going to get rice. Yeah. He said, so we know that it's not really the That's same. That's how it was also in, um, gosh, where was the first place in, um, when we were in oh, the Oh, yeah, yeah, Rome. Rome. I was like, in Rome. Rome. Yeah, it was not the same. <laughs> no, Rome was, it was not the same. And Packed. Yeah, packed, but not the same. Not the same. You didn't have the same thing. They think they're having a little... I mean, just like us, you know, when we go to yeah, oh, the Thai different. restaurant. It's probably not the same. It's but not it's, the same. I'm going to tell you it's not. It's also, yeah, regional. Yeah. You're going to get what people are going to eat, yeah. not what Americans are. But one thing... Oh, my gosh. I can't believe I forgot to... I don't think I've even told you this. This was, like, super, super interesting. One of the most interesting things is that... Um, uh, and we noticed it everywhere. There was a Starbucks everywhere. Really? In all of In Indonesia. every place. All over Indonesia. We wow. came across a Starbucks every day. We came across one. And sometimes we were, I mean, maybe not as far out as Bora Badur, but where we landed, there was a Starbucks everywhere. Interesting. But here's, here's the really interesting thing about it, is that like in Phuket, you know, we had shopped all day and we'd done the math and it's like, oh my gosh, this is so inexpensive. Oh my gosh, this is so inexpensive. I mean, um, even like to buy a Coke, their Coke does not taste the same as ours, but um, a Coke was like 33 cents. American. And so everything is just um, super inexpensive, super inexpensive. So then when we were waiting for our taxi to pick mm -hmm. us up, we had found the Starbucks and said, okay, well, this is where we are. We're going to get something to drink. The Starbucks, same price. It cost us six dollars. Six dollars. Eight dollars. Um, I was going to say, I think mine was six dollars and Paws was seven dollars and the cookie was five dollars. It cost us Wow. In Amer in the, the same, exchange, the same it was amount. American rate, and I thought well, that's weird. That's what I thought. I thought that why nice? would that be? Is it because they're only appealing to Americans and they the know tourists? what we're gonna the tourists and they know what we're gonna pay for it? It it I mean it was it was busy. It was all tourists that were in there, but there was oh. Australian people in there. There were UK people and us in there, so there wasn't any locals I mean, in there. That's smart. I guess, but it's also on Starbucks, mean. But it's, it's all kind of mean. Right. I'm thinking that too. I think it's smart on their yeah. advertising. You know, they're going to know the locals are going to be addicted mm -hmm. to their Starbucks. But mean, because why can't a local have Starbucks? Right. Because they can't afford a five, no, six dollar drink. No, they absolutely cannot. But the other funny thing is that it was our cookie. I mean, the cookie that we bought, mm -hmm. it's not at all like what you would get when you're ordering their desserts sure. and stuff. So, so I almost thought maybe they really are appealing to the tourists who is craving a taste from home because the coffee tastes exactly the same. It didn't taste like their coffee. Sure. So I don't know what the deal is, and maybe it's because of import. It costs them a lot to get the Starbucks coffee, coffee there. I'm not sure, but... And I'm not so sure. I don't know if they weren't in there because they didn't like the flavor of it or that they couldn't afford it, but it was not like their coffee at all. It mm. was Starbucks coffee. Not at all like Indonesian it's coffee. Very from home. So kind of interesting. And so oh. when we first did that, then we went into a second Starbucks for the same thing and exact same thing. Exact same thing. Super expensive. Super, super regular our price and our flavor and 
Interesting. I just thought it was really weird because if the McDonald's is like, ah, no, we'll give you a taste of McDonald's, but it's not really McDonald's, you know. Why Starbucks? Why Starbucks? Interesting. I thought it was really interesting. Someone from, that was you strange. know, fancy up there in Starbucks follows us. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Interesting. Starbucks from Washington State. Yeah. Tell us. If, if Tell it us is just because it's a taste at home thing, I mean, it's kind of smart. I mean, why not appeal to people who are traveling who maybe are not on a cruise ship who can't, I mean, even the cruise ship stuff isn't the same. Uh, on the cruise ship, there was a Starbucks. There was, <laughs> there was a <laughs> Starbucks. Yes. So, I mean, yes. it's smart in that sense, but I think a little, oh, you know, someone can't have, oh, I had American coffee today because you, I mean, that's four and they days did, wage. It's, absolutely. Absolutely. That's a it's, lot. It's a lot of money. So I don't think that they are appealing to, to the locals, but, um, for travel. and maybe the locals wouldn't like it. I just thought it was interesting. That is kind of interesting. Really strange, so. well, fun. Anyway, yeah. yeah. Well, note that if you do go yeah. and you travel, your dollar will go a long ways and you can get Starbucks. <laughs> Take your Starbucks gift card. Yes. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Leave that in your wallet. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. All right. Oh, well, I hope awesome. you enjoyed a little bit of um, some of the stuff that we brought back. And um, but yeah. Yeah. Um, wonderful Super place. Cool. Had a fun time and had fun heavy suitcase bringing back. Yeah. So, anyway. but we're glad you're home. Yes, me too. All, All right. right. Bye. Bye. Thank you for watching our video. We invite you to leave a comment, hit the like button, or better yet, subscribe to our channel so you never miss an episode. You can also visit our Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, or Pinterest pages, or find all of those things and our online store at fabricpatch.net.